Welcome to Basket Talks new episode. This is Mir Demir Demirar from Basket Talks. In this episode, we are with Juan Maroto. Hi, coach. How are you? I'm very fine. It's a pleasure to stay with you here. Thank you for joining me and thank you for accepting my invitation. And how was your training goes? How was your season? Your season goes. Uh, I want to start with this. Very hard season. Euroleague season is always very hard. And especially in a club that sometimes is and sometimes is not. Then Euroleague is usually hard. A lot of games. Every game is very hard, very tough for the players to not be injured. And we will play Friday and two days before we have ICB game. The ICB is also more difficult than, than in a regular busy. season with Euro Cup or another. But good, we are doing more or less. We are, <laughs> we are living. We are living this year. <laughs> yeah, nice to hear that. And yeah, I, I'm following EuroLeague, your, your EuroLeague match. I mean, I follow all the EuroLeague match and you are in EuroLeague. So this is really a tough league. Like yeah, like, it's very, really, really tough. And both leagues together is is crazy. If you yeah. are Barça or Madrid with a lot of players, a lot of coaches, could be a little bit less. But in Valencia Basket, with a not long roster and no long staff to prepare these games, is really tough. Yeah, in ACB you have Real Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia. It's you and Badalona, Gran Canaria, you have a very tough team. Yeah. And Basconia like, also. Basconia, also yeah. Good. In the last games, the bottom of the league is is growing up a lot. They yeah. are coming from the second division. That the teams that are going up are, are great. They are signing good players. And now every game is is not easy. You now this this year, this is the last years, every game is a war. Yeah, and then you are in Valencia Basket as an assistant coach. And I want to run back to the, your basketball career. Uh, when and where did you first become interesting in basketball? When I was very young, around ten years. The PE teacher come to the school and show us what is basketball, but everyone played football before. We make a team and we start from there. From nowadays, <laughs> I was doing basketball and something more, study or working a little bit, because you, when you are more or less semi-professional, professional, you cannot work in regular jobs. But uh, I study PE teacher and I start yeah. to first study and then make some classes to combine with the uh, basketball. Yeah, and at what point did you decide to become a, a coach? I think it was a, a long process. It's not one in one exactly point. While I was a player, and during especially the last years, I start to coach young teams, and I feel that I like it to do. More or less, my first team was in Paterna, a town near to Valencia, in La Salle Paterna. I start coaching there. Yeah, and then step by step, you grow, right? Amateur level to professional and Euroleague level. When I was a player, I was coaching young teams, five, six years. When my career like a player ends, I start in a good level of basketball, in like third division in Spain, more focus on the coach. Then from there, in Almasera, I start in Almasera. I signed in Valencia for a second team, young players, but not young, like 20 years from 16 to 20, that you know in professional life, the coach was out. The second coach take the team, and I, from the second team, become an assistant coach. Yeah, actually, all my interviews, guests, saying, like, as an advice, if you want to be basketball coach, you need to work with kids, like five and six years old after that one step up with like 13 years old and pro i mean they always say uh, don't think like uh, i need to work with pro level nba level right now you need to start with junior and like you uh, you start with junior and step by step you grow your career it's good for everyone to be in every level and to know every process of, of the player. But I think it's not mandatory to, to be <laughs> yeah. a good coach in the professional. It's not really important because it's, yeah. it's a lot of different, I think. Yeah, it depends. And I want to ask you this question. And as an assistant coach of Valencia Basket, so what are your advice for young players? First of all, is enjoy. Enjoy the game. It's to be responsible that you have to enjoy every practice, every game. 
and your more responsibility is try to improve yourself every day. Don't press you too much. Don't put you under press too much to be a professional only the things don't go like you want. I know some players are, they put a lot of press on himself. I think it's not really a good point. The career of the players are not the same. It's not a regular process. Sometimes you are growing regular, sometimes you go a little bit down. You have to grow more or less every year or put goals every year. I have to improve on my skills on this, on my defense. I try to put goals more like this, more than specific goals like I have to score 20 points or to play 30 minutes or to be better than the other player. The basketball can help everyone in, in these points, you know, and to be professional. To be professional, only 1%? Uh, no, of sure less yeah. than this. I wonder, if, is that assistant coach always you seeing players and you looking players like a scout for traits? And then what are your criters that for a player? Like how a player can play in Valencia basket? Well, in one hand, everyone knows that very important of to be a good player is your genetic. It's your athleticism, it's your something that you have to build a little bit. But when you're born, probably is 90% is, is on, on your side. No, you can improve a little bit, but how with your body is very important. Right? You have to, to take care of this. You have to grow this body. But the athletic I think now is a key part of to know where is this player, the level of this player. If coachable or is not coachable, this player I think is a good point. There are a lot of questions to know. The stats is a good point to this, to show, but you have to put this on another situations. That that's yeah. important to realize. Yeah, and then I was wondering before get injured but uh, my friends wonder it uh, right now and I want to ask that I think the listeners are wondering too as a young player we uh, playing our country like in Turkey in Spain or in USA and we want to be professional basketball player yeah. and then we all want to play in uh, Euroleague teams and then how can we show us to you as a player professional team that Valencia basket is not easy you to show there are no everyone one player that is in at this level has an agent to show going thinking in the first team eh? but we have also the academy that we are more or less contact with the players in the region around Valencia there are a lot of people who is showing to us we built a, a great facility only basketball facilities night indoor courts and four outside courts I think is the biggest in Europe only thinking in basketball is called it La Alqueria del Basket we have department of science To invest is growing a lot. We make a lot of clinics for the coaches, for the players. It's incredible basketball movement that is going and is coming to Valencia. And a lot of players contact with their career and they try to make a trials or something like this. We have a website and everyone can contact. Yeah, we have this. chance. But we don't have a club to, to recruit a lot. Yeah. It's not our mentality now. But there are some players that is coming, is showing us. They are making trials. Some of them is to be part of our club. Yeah, thank you. And we talked about players and I want to talk about coaches. And then as a successful basketball coach, do you have any advice for young coaches, new coaches? I think it's, it's enjoy. Coaches, I see, try new things. It's okay. You have the responsibility of the players, but try new things to develop also you and to develop the players. And something is not the best, but you have to learn how to fix it if you there but is try to to find your way and the most important is be, be yourself also a lot of coaches try to copy of the other coaches and and this is good but always being yourself don't try to be other okay you can copy some things of sure of the any player of any coach good coach or bad coach in professional league and every league everyone is copying but the important is also be yourself yeah thank you and let's move on to the final question in your opinion what are the musts of basketball like i say in a lot of questions is enjoy compete and when do you, see, you you ask me from the players I this is a skilled player this is athletic player but to be competitive is also very important and try to respect the game to respect yourself to your Belgian mates to respect the, the opponent I'm not only in the basketball in, in every sport or when a lot of sports is respect this that this is a game and, and what means this 
Yeah, and thank you for coming and joining me for this interview, and thank you for everything. Yeah, I have to say thank you, know you, because it's a pleasure for me this invitation, and enjoy it a lot. And thank you. Thank you, and I hope we meet in real because uh, you often, I hope to say, sometimes come Turkey for Euroleague match, like Fenerbahce, yeah. Anadolu Efes. We have uh, some Euroleague teams. We, uh, we went also to play in a week. We we played both Efes really? and Fenerbahce. Yeah. Then you have to come to Valencia this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to go there. Yeah. Uh, and we play also with last week we'll play FS again. Ah. We are very happy with FS. We will, we won both. That is oh. incredible. <laughs> we, have to, we have to to win the future Fenerbahce because we lost and then we have to receive Fenerbahce at home. Thank you for everything again and see you soon. Thank you very much. Maybe in the playoff I will like. Thank see you very much. See you. Thanks. In this episode we are with Juan Marato. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy. See you in next episode. Bye bye.